Uh, my name is Sadie Deshera. I'm from Hoover, Alabama, and I play baseball here at Sanford. The brain surgery was just the start, really. Mid-July 2012, I found out I had to have a Chiari malformation, which is when you have growth in your spine of brain, of brain fluid. And what they had to do to go in there to fix that, they had to shave, they had to shave the top of my skull and shave from about from here all the way down to midway through my neck. And what they said it did was relieve pressure from my brain on top of my right on top of my spinal cord, which would relieve that brain fluid leaking in there. And I got to the point where if the brain fluid had grown any bigger, it, I could have had some paralysis. I could have had migraines that were uncurable. I could have had a lot more things, but I'm just thankful that I actually found in, a, in the MRI in 2012 that my brain fluid had grown and I needed surgery immediately. And then I go into ninth grade year, I have a full healthy season, we get a new high school coach. Uh, Adam Mosley, and he uh, he put me on JV my freshman year, and I played a full season healthy, and uh, he actually ended up putting me on varsity uh, for the playoffs, and that's when I know that Coach Mosley was going to trust in me and trust in what I did, and they saw something special in me. And I guess tenth grade is when you could say when everything started just hitting the fan. Every year we play in. Uh, the summer tournament, I was pitching at Rickwood and it was pouring down rain. Rickwood's the oldest stadium in the history of the world. And uh, I was pitching back when I used to pitch and I had actually slipped and somehow arched my back and cracked my back in three different places. And I would actually end up missing my whole 10th grade year from that and that was, that was really tough. That, uh, that's when I really grew with Coach Mosley. Eleventh grade fall, I was playing down in the tournament in Georgia, and I rushed back too quick. I knew I'd rush back too quick. I was on the mound again. For some reason I keep getting hurt on the mound. It was my first outing since I hurt my back, and I actually ended up tearing my elbow in an outing up in a meaningless Georgia game. So I go in, go into the doctor, hoping that I didn't tear my elbow. Dr. Dugas looks at me and tells me, you gotta have elbow surgery. And that, that really, right there, made me question my faith a lot. Cause I was just asking, I was asking God like, man, like what's going on? Like I've, this is the, gonna be the fourth, third, fourth year in a row where, you know, I've had something major going on. And uh, it just made me think, like, what's next, you know? What's going to happen to me next? What injury am I going to get next? And then going into my 12th grade year, all I wanted was just to be healthy. No matter what I did, I wanted to be healthy and play a healthy season. And thankfully, I, enough, I did. I played from the whole fall to Coming to here, I played a full season healthy, and that was really what motivated me. Like, all right, I'm back. Nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna stop me. I'm invincible now. And we came up short my senior year. Uh, we lost the first round of playoffs. You know, it that hurt, but I was just more proud of the fact that I stayed healthy and was there for the whole season for the whole, for all the guys. So then, just going into college, um, I get here. I live five minutes down the road, so I mean I've known Coach Dunn forever. I was actually uh, it was my it was right after I had elbow surgery, literally right here. Coach Dunn asked me to hop in his uh, his little buggy thing, and uh, he talks to me for a little bit. Then he says he wants me to come up here for a visit and take me around school and everything. And I'm like, all right. Was like at that point, I was like, "What's this? What's this gonna be about?" And uh, he actually he brought me up here on an offer right after that Tommy John. After that Tommy John, I thought I was, you know, nobody's gonna take a chance on me. I'm gonna have to go, just 
do something crazy just to get an offer. And he talked to me, he said he, he believes in what I do and he trusts me and he knows I'm gonna come back from my elbow surgery and just be, be ready. And thankfully I came back and I was ready and I was just ready to get after it. And so um, the summer coming in here, I was working camps, working little kid camps up here for coach and just got to see everything that goes on around here. And it was just, I was just getting more and more excited about coming here and just being healthy coming into Sanford. And then played a whole fall healthy. I was healthy the whole fall. And then I ended up injuring my ankle towards the end of the fall, which I ended up actually being pretty bad. We didn't really know it then, but it was really bad. Uh, I injured it literally the last day of workouts. And I basically the whole winter break, I was just trying to get it back, trying to be ready for the season because I was like, I can't let, can't let Coach Dunn down. He took a shot on me being healthy and I, my ankle's torn in half but we didn't know it then. And so I went off to summer ball after, after season and played up in Virginia. And uh, the whole time my ankle was just killing me. But I was like, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving here. I'm, I told these coaches I'll play. So I went and played, I was like, I'm not leaving these guys. So I stayed the whole time. And uh, right when I came back, I got an MRI before school and uh, Dr. Dr. Walger was the doctor who did my ankle surgery. He's got, he looks at me and goes, all right, you got two options. You either have surgery now or you have surgery in this next summer because your ankle is not, not in playing condition. He said I had five torn ligaments, uh, three major ligaments down there. And he said it's amazing that your ankle's even, your ankle's even like there. It should, should, should just be floating. And I was like, that hit me hard. Uh, I was, me and, our trainer, Alex, were just sitting in there, and as soon as he told me that, I just put my head down, just disappointed. I was like, man, come on. Like, I was like, what's going on? Why, why again? Why again? And uh, this, this surgery definitely hit me the hardest out of any of them, or out of any of my injuries. Um, it, uh, this, whole, this whole fall was just a circus for me. I, uh, I lost my mind, really. I lost who I was. Uh, it was hard rolling around campus on a scooter, just looking at other people, like, just angry at the world, angry at yourself, and ang more importantly, angry at God. Just still questioning, like, what are you doing to me? Like, I mean, I didn't deserve this. Like, I just had a great season, and you're gonna put me down again like this. And uh, it got to where when I had when I actually got released, or not released, when I got my boot off from my rehab process, where I was like, what are you doing, dude? Like, what are you, what's going on with your life right now? And uh, I, uh, our, my high school coach gave me this uh, Bible, it's called the Competitor's Bible, and he had some verses highlighted in there, and I always had it in my room, never picked it up, but I looked at it and decided I was gonna pick it up that day, and uh, I picked it up, read it, and uh, I mean, I just kind of teared up reading it because I was like, "How you like? How could you let you let, let yourself get this far and still just question him?" And I mean, I don't want to put it all in my high school coach, but I let it. I mean, he kind of led me to receiving God and getting baptized. And I mean, he doesn't really. I told him, but he doesn't really understand like how that process went for me and how. That little book he gave us, uh, senior senior year banquet, changed my life and changed my outlook, and and just realized that everything happens for a purpose. You know, it's like injuries are gonna happen. It's not like nobody's indestructible. You know, the best of the best have injuries. And they gotta sit out. And from a point now, like you know, if I get injured again, which hopefully I don't. Hopefully I'm still healthy. I mean. It's gonna be, you know, okay, I'm gonna take this challenge and I'm gonna overcome it. It's not gonna be like, what the heck? Like, why, why is this happening again? It's gonna be, it's gonna be all right. Thank you, God. Thank you for putting me in this challenge again. I'm ready for it, you know? I'm just, there's no more questions to be asked about him, that's for sure.